Um, we are watching the cruise lines today. Royal Caribbean Celebrity Cruises says that two passengers aboard the Celebrity Millennium ship have tested positive for COVID-19. It says the passengers who were traveling together have no symptoms and are being isolated. Celebrity recently restarted cruises after more than a year. Jim, uh, this was their first North American cruise since 2020. But here's some things we need to know, and I don't know the answers. Uh, I believe that ce Celebrity... I want to know if they vaccinated kids or were kids unvaccinated. That's number one. I want to know, did they test people right before they got on the boat with an antigen test? You know, like a Binax that Abbott obviously made like a gazillion and didn't need it. Uh, but you've got to, we've got to find out from Richard Fain, and I hope he does call into our show. Do they let kids on? And now, of course, this is asymptomatic. They put them in a stateroom, but it's obviously not what the cruise industry needs. But I think that unvaccinated kids is the thing I need to know about. Because that would be the answer for you as to whether they yes. were on the boat. They yes. And I, and I believe if I want to cruise, and I've been interested in doing it during the holiday period, uh, I need at least antigen testing right on the dock. I know that, for instance, that you do that, that uh, Norwegian Cruise plan, plans to do that, an antigen testing. And, I, and my understanding is Norwegian Cruise will not let unvaccinated children get on. Um, so I'm willing to take a Norwegian Cruise. I am. I'm also even looking at this point, even knowing what you know about, if about Nor Royal. If Norwegian is doing what they're, what they're claiming, absolutely. Yep. Uh, without a doubt, I would take well, one of those to you Alaska. Are, and you're also vaccinated. So what, what do you, why would you worry? Well, uh, true. There is an issue. Uh, I was out last night um, with, with an absolutely terrific CEO and the people were coming up to me and shake and shake my hand. Initially, I remember what uh, Dr. Gottlieb said to me on Twitter. He said, listen, I never shook hands even before this. But by the end, it's I was hugging people shake, and not to shake hands. I know. It is hard. I know. I and tried and well. I went home and I told my wife, I said, geez, I don't know. I, I hugged some people tonight. She says, well, isn't that your Mr. Vaccination? What's the vaccination <laughs> for if you're not the vaccination? You know, one of those things. Hey, we vaccinated. I'm so we glad Lisa doesn't watch this hour. But Dr. Oh, no, Gottlieb, she, she doesn't know. Right, she doesn't know about the hour. She knows. Uh, Dr. Gottlieb was asked this exact question on Squawk. Here's what he said. Those environments are, are inherently, um, they have certain risks associated with them. There's a lot of people in confined spaces. I don't think they need to be higher risk environments than taking a regular vacation. I think, in fact, they could be lower risk environments because you do have the ability to control those environments with testing, by testing people as they get on the ship, as they get off the ship, while they're on the ship. And you have the ability to require vaccination uh, in those settings. So I think that this could be a, a very safe environment and potentially even a safer uh, a vacation than going to London or going to a big city. But really, they, I believe they should be looking at requiring 100 percent vaccination. Speaking of London, um, the, the, the case count in the U.K., Jim, is showing a clear upturn, which we're going to monitor. And how about I'm very worried about Malaysia lockdown. Remember, if you're going to believe in transitory, you have to know that global foundry, the foundries are all there. And uh, they're in Malaysia, they're in Taiwan. You cannot have these places have this and expect that we won't have another leg up in, in the transitory inflation. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.